Manchester United to get a Lenny or a hit back at fake claims. Manchester United transfer news today. Uh, that's what we're going to be talking about. And this is the United chapter. Hello, everyone. And thank you for being part of the United chapter. And please subscribe. Uh, ring that notification bell so that you do not miss it. And whatever I've got to bring to you right about here at the United chapter. As I let you know that personal terms have been agreed. Is it that way? As we also talk about Manchester United target Len Euro. Uh, that has gone on and hit back at fake claims. As Manchester United transfer news really are going on uh, let's get the party started ladies and gentlemen and welcome back a uh, one more time as we talk about lenny euro i uh, welcome back to uh, another exciting edition uh, of the transfer news today right about here at uh, the united chapter and my name is abu Carls. we have uh, some breaking news for you and uh, personal terms have been agreed with Manchester United target Lenny Euro. And the youngster has hit back at fake transfer claims. And really, uh, let's dive into the full story. So Lenny Euro, uh, the talented 18-year-old defender from Lille, has been a hot topic in the transfer market uh, this very summer. It will be noted that Manchester United have shown significant interest uh, in him. And uh, with reports from France suggesting that that Lille accepted a £42 million pound offer uh, from the Red Devils. However, a uh, controversy struck when an account on X really uh, impersonated Euro and uh, claiming he had an interest in moving to Old Trafford. Anyway, the fake account under, uh, the, uh, under the handle uh, Euro Lenny posted i don't want you uh, united <laughs> leave me alone uh, sparking confusion and uh, concern amongst much united fans euro quickly responded to clear the air uh, sta uh, stating a uh, fake account and that was definitely uh, quite good for united fans you know are uh, you guys a psycho that's why he said uh, signal uh, this account that's what he definitely said so uh, his swift action uh, reassured fans and indicated Indicated that a move to Manchester United uh, still uh, is very much on the cards, you know. So Manchester United manager, uh, 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 the United manager Eric Ten Hag really is keen to bluster his defensive options uh, this very summer with Rafa Veran uh, leaving the club and uh, uncertainties surrounding Harry Maguire and Victor Lindelf. And Manchester United are in, uh, in the dire need of strengthening their back line uh, with the back line as much as United that has been miserable really uh, for quite a long period of time. It's not been the best of back lines, but uh, we hope that Manchester United can go on and solve this problem when uh, they get uh, the football player Euro who's been making rounds. And uh, really, uh, the reassurance of Euro, uh, uh, the reassurance of Euro really uh, means quite a lot to Manchester United fans and it means quite a lot to the club and also to the player but uh, very important to note that Manchester United uh, 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 anyway when a player when a player goes in and reassures a club really that he's, go, no, he's going nowhere he's very interested in uh, making a move to that club the club also really gets the uh, puts in the effort and the work to make sure that they can go on and really uh, have proper negotiations going on so uh, uh, this move by Euro uh, going on and uh, this move uh, going on and uh, really clearing the air it gives uh, Manchester United fans quite a lot of hope so a uh, Euro who made 32 appearances for Lille last season impressing the uh, uh, impressing actually his acumen could be a perfect fit at Manchester United with the fact that Rafael Veran is leaving and also uh, uh anyway Rafael Veran has uh, is already left I should say I should put it that way we are 100% sure that Rafael Veran won't be at Manchester United already is already said goodbye and he had his last game uh, for Manchester United so really uh, and it's been uh, it's been quite good and uh, seeing how Rafael Veran uh, has uh, played for Manchester United has it been worth has uh, Manchester United's uh, uh, Rafael Veran uh, his uh, period at Manchester United was it uh, worth the money that he was signed first of all 
we need to understand that Rafael Veran was expensive, you know. But uh, uh, putting that aside, Rafael Veran has been injury prone. He's had quite a big number of injuries. When he's been on the pitch, he's been all right. He's been okay. Undoubtedly, everybody knows that. But when he's been on the pitch, he's played quite well. But uh, the reality, the fact is that Rafael Veran is injury prone, you know. He's had quite a number of injuries and he's not played a very big number of games. So uh, you do not need a football player like that. Uh, and um, but, but still, he's a very good one. He's a very wonderful one. But also, we need to understand that uh, when you are into tight competition, when you've got clubs like Manchester City and Arsenal right on top of the tempo, really, and you want to join that league, you want to beat them, you have to have uh, perfect players, really. Uh, you need uh, players who are not injury prone. You need players who will. Um, a player like Bruno Fernandes, I will say, uh, is a striker, yeah, he's a midfielder, but and the, and Veran is a striker. Uh, sorry, Veran is a defender. Uh, but we can't compare the two. But comparing them in the in terms of injuries, you know, it's very rare to hear that. It's very very rare, absolutely, uh, to hear that uh, uh, that uh, Bruno Fernandes has gone has go has go uh, has go an injury. So uh, late, uh, you can see that's the sort of football player that you definitely uh, need to give uh, your coins to, need to uh, give your money to, need to uh, be given an extension. Anyway, let's hope really uh, things will definitely move on quite well uh, for the football club Manchester United as Euro could be making that perfect move to the club. So in addition to Euro, Manchester United have also been linked with Bayern's, uh, Bayern Munich's uh, uh, delete, you know, and uh, uh, they definitely have had a second offer for Everton centre back, uh, John Branthwaite. So, uh, these two wonderful ones have definitely uh, been in uh, the links for Manchester United. And uh, with John Branthwaite, uh, their initial, uh, uh, the, the, the initial 43 uh, million pound bid uh, was definitely rejected, and you can see how much the football player. Uh, could be costing and that, that also shows you that he's really a very good one you know so they're in uh, they, uh, that initial 43 million pound bid that was rejected Manchester United was quite quite sure at some point in time that uh, uh, the club uh, Everton will definitely go for that but uh, they returned uh, with an improved Manchester United returned with an improved offer at one point in time a uh, recent actually with 50 million pound and uh, this aggressive approach in the transfer market shows Manchester United's intent uh, to solidify uh, to solidify uh, their dance uh, uh, sorry their defense uh, uh, their defense ahead of the new season and uh, if Brent White uh, makes uh, if Brent White makes that move to Manchester United, then he will definitely be a very very wonderful one, you know. So uh, actually, uh, Euro's potential transfer to Manchester United would not only uh, strengthen their defence but also provide a long term solution with the with actually his youth and also potential because he's only young and uh, definitely uh, because he's uh, still young we can see a big future ahead of him he can play for Manchester United for as long as he wants for quite a long period of time as long as his own form and as long as he's on good terms with Manchester United management you know and that's a very big thing very big thing that and uh, the fact that he can also offer European football uh, having helped a little qualify uh, for uh, Europa League makes him an even uh, more attractive prospect uh, for the Red Devils. Yeah, really, uh, let's hope really things uh, move on quite well and uh, uh, Manchester United go on and sign uh, the football player uh, Lenny Euro, who's been making rounds, but he's been linked to quite a number of uh, football clubs, really, uh, with Real Madrid being one of those clubs that are interested in signing Lenny Euro. Uh, let's wait and see where all this will definitely take us. And also, Liverpool uh, wanted him, I've, uh, I've been linked to him, uh, they definitely want him. And as the transfer window really progresses, all eyes will be on Euro's future. Will Manchester United succeed in bringing? 
bringing him to Old Trafford? Or oh, uh, will other top clubs make a late push uh, for his signature? Stay tuned uh, to the United chapter all uh, for all the latest updates. And do not forget to like, uh, share and subscribe for more exciting transfer news. As I tell you, thank you and goodbye for now.